Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. Just want to send out appreciation to all of you who comment and like and have subscribed to help me grow this channel. Thank you for all your positive feedback, such supportive comments, um, supporting each other in the comments. Just um, just a joy to read for you. So doing a daily psychic tarot reading, checking in on the day's energies whenever you are tuning in and it's the right time. Starting with the power animal oracle card, bear, boundaries, stand your ground. Definitely has that seven of wands type of feel. I'm getting a uh, mama bear type of energy, protective, meaning that protection. I feel like um, right now you, someone around you, you might perceive someone around you as needing protection, as needing boundaries. It it feels like. Um, it could be children or someone you have that type of mentoring or caring for. It could be friends, some, um, but it feels like it feels like you have learned how to create some healthy boundaries. And you've learned how how and when is appropriate to stand your ground. And um, I feel like what's really coming up is you witnessing someone else being afforded an opportunity to stand their ground. You might be tempted to jump in and do it for them but I'm getting that it's important to let them learn how to stand their ground. Just like you did. You wouldn't, um, this is an amazing skill that you have. Boundaries, healthy boundaries. And um, yeah, let someone, it feels like, you know, being there for them but allowing them to find their inner bear. That would help too, is if you, with your energy, I believe this, I believe in you. I believe you'll find your answers. You'll know what to say. You'll know when to stand your ground and when not to. But not doing it for them. I feel like that's also a healthy boundary. Help with if someone needs help, but knowing when to let someone work through their lessons. Wow. All right. In the past is the energy of the sun in reverse. Ooh. Heavy. Chronic depression. Um... This feels like it's so far away from your soul's path that everything in your body, your mind, your emotions, your spirit is depressed, unable to feel the sunshine. I'm getting for some of you, this was on purpose as in like a soul's path to really explore these darker areas, to be drawn so strongly to go into these denser, darker energies so you could heal from them and learn amazing lessons and through your transformation by going through those darknesses, you carry a map of those lessons within you. It's not like you have to go evangelize. Your path is not the only path. 
but it is a path of, of um, bravery. Do you recognize how brave you are to face your fears? You know how brave it is to be this chronically depressed, dark, and exhausted, depleted, so uh, lack of support, and keep going. That takes uh, amazing bravery and courage. I, it feels like in the past, you got some type of um, idea, spiritual guidance, intuitive hit, dream that you could have a, a new life, that it doesn't have to be like this. And I think you, you tried for a long time to make whatever life you were in upright and happy but it just it it was not a good fit i think you realized that it would be really difficult to forge a new journey to extricate yourself from your old life and create a brand new one Looks like you got a lot of um, a lot of divine guidance messages, and you had to make a choice. It's a difficult choice. Do I stay in something that might have some security because it's familiar, but it's there's no happiness, there's no joy, or do I face my fears and it feels like um, go towards the impossible, at least your perspective when you were in the sun reversed was um, that's impossible. The response is no, it's necessary. It's from uh, the movie Interstellar, one of my favorite lines, so powerful, something that seems incredibly impossible but that's it's necessary and that's what i'm looking at all right in your current energy we have the seven of swords in reverse someone's coming something's coming out um information someone who is sneaky People are starting to see the um, this person moves inappropriately, but covertly. I feel like people are catching on to this energy. It's getting harder and harder to hide. There are so many lies and fabrications and half lives and um, painting pictures of illusions. Boy, again, boy, um, the truth's coming in really quickly. I feel like you know a lot about this person and what's happened feels like related to your past, you might have been connected with this person and tried to make it work. And that's why you you couldn't. Uh, there's just a, a lack of truth and honesty. There was no um, light coming in the, of truth. You might have had to lie a lot to yourself to stay in this energy. Oh, 
Uh, for some of you, this person's lies and sneaky behavior has not just broken your boundaries, but many people around this person, they've not, um, well, this is someone very entitled. This person could very well have um, stolen. Stolen from people, stolen from a business. This, for some of you, this is um, the law coming in. The, the, the hammer's coming down. Um, this person has been given time. I feel like you know about a lot of the boundaries personally that this person feels entitled to cross, that there should be no boundaries. Boy, this person just feels entitled to whatever they want. You know, I mean, and so they have a habit of breaking people's personal boundaries of manipulation, being sneaky. They think they, they're, they, they think nobody has seen this, their moves. It's like the universe has given them time and time an opportunity as people around them are creating healthy boundaries to come clean, to mm, wake up. But instead, this person just doubles down on nefarious came up, um, dark deeds, thieving, stealing. And it looks like it's... Um, coming out wow and they're totally ignoring this like trying to like la 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 I don't, I don't hear it didn't hide nothing la, la. but they don't know how to they're just they're giving off this illusion that everything is fine that they're stable that they're secure, that they're abundant. And they're not. They're, um, people are turning their backs on this person, realizing, oh my God, this person, um, wow, feels like um, in their environment, the people around them might not be saying anything to their face, but there's a lot of like, oh, did you hear? And this person can feel like people realize that, um, wow, the jig's up. Why, why are we seeing this? I think, um, so why this is happening in present energy is you were very connected with this person and so is your happiness. Maybe I feel like you were taking on and mirroring and matching their energy in the past and trying to heal their energy, trying to get them to become more conscious, trying to get them to wake up. And instead that just lowered your vibration. You Spending, expending so much of your focus and energy and on this person and trying to heal this just kept you in a chronic state of depletion and so depressed and sad and and I feel like this person felt really good because they were receiving so much of your energy that you were like depleted mentally emotionally physically spiritually in the corner just um exhausted exhausted like chuck <laughs> kidding exhausted and so this person took advantage of you and 
your energy and they thought it was theirs. They thought um, you're depleted, you're depressed, you're exhausted all the time. What a bummer you are to be around. So I'm going to toss you aside. I'm talking from this person's kind of perspective and go out and um, have the life that was meant for me that I'm entitled to. So what they didn't realize is that that was the beauty, the sunshine, this amazing energy was yours. So as you start healing and taking back your own energy, your vibration starts to rise your wheel of fortune starts to rise, your karma is rising because you're letting go of toxicity and bad habits and patterns and people who lower your vibration. And as that's happened, things have gone pretty well for you. You're on the rise and they're now able to receive their karma. You're not blocking that karma from hitting them. You are taking back your own energy and seeing how powerful and amazing and beautiful that energy is. They, without your energy, are realizing that they could do this. They can heal them their own energy and let go of things and be on the rise again, but they don't. They, siphon energy off of other people instead of doing the hard work for themselves. And they've been hiding behind people like you for a long time. And now it looks like there's nowhere to hide. It really bothers this person that you're doing well. I mean, that's probably the worst. Um, they feel abandoned by you, that you've turned your back. And part of me is like, um, I, that feels like a healthy thing to do, to turn your back on someone who has treated you so cruelly in the past. That sounds like a healthy boundary, to stand your ground, that to not get in the way of this person receiving their karma. Karma can be a very amazing tool for learning and growth, depending on how you're perceiving it. If you think you're a victim to it, you'll be a victim to it and you won't really have, uh, allow yourself the opportunity to grow from it. Whew. Gosh, again. Again, the authorities, the law, police, detectives, government, someone is, um, they might contact you. They might be contacting you. Um, you know, is this, do you have information about this? Boy, some stuff is breaking wide open. I think that's why, if this is your story, that's why you're, you're, one, don't block for this person. Allow this person the opportunity to open, allow karma to open up, open them up for healing and growth. All right, your higher self is in the Knight of Cups. Okay. Um, This energy has been in the last several readings. Um, feel like 
this is someone coming in feels like a soul connection you weren't you don't have to go at this alone you've been going at your healing and by yourself more or less That this person and energies like this in your space needed to be cleared to allow a loving energy to come in. This person wants to say, um, say wonderful observations, like tell you how they feel about you. They want to take you on dates. They want to take you out and feed you. Um, feels like fun feels like this person is coming in to lighten things up to help you to also this person mm, that's a little too far ahead if this you've already met this person someone who you feel like you know already and they're really wonderful and they're so interested in you um i feel like whoever you are separating from realizes every time you give your energy to yourself don't think about them pull your energy and you start investing your focus your time your thoughts your emotions with people who reciprocate, who care about you, who are investing in you as well. They're not just using you for your energy and depleting you. Every time this happens, this person feels uh, um, a, a, the abandonment of your energy. And I don't know. I'm honestly, I don't know if what they're thinking, if they realize that they made a big mistake about their energy. They didn't appreciate you, appreciate what you brought to the table. And instead they abused your gifts and power. And so karma is coming in to teach them a lesson. giving them an opportunity to wake up this isn't a punishment this is an op this is um judgment final judgment has been made on this person and um the more they avoid and refuse to take the calling of their soul the harder it's going to get they are self-sabotaging basically how they behave towards you they didn't realize they thought they were hurting you and they really liked that they like you suffering it is what it is um you were supposed to be completely decimated by them and go away and they feel so good knowing that you're somewhere suffering so that's not what's happened. You are you've healed and you're on the rise and they are getting the karma they met it out for you and others around them. They've tried to purposely stand in the way of others receiving their blessings. They are entitled and they've stolen things, time, money. And they're they're under judgment. I, I have no idea because especially since I'm looking at multiple timelines, if this, if your person is going to wake up from this, or if they're just going to keep diving into um, doubling down on what they feel comfortable with and what they feel comfortable with is some really um, dark 
um, behaviors. Yeah. Your challenge right now is nine of pentacles. Your challenge right now is to stay independent, independent and successful, joyful, at ease, at peace. I feel like you found uh, a bit of peace without energies around you. It doesn't even have to be this person, but any energies around you that you recognize as someone wanting to take from you without reciprocation. It's not just this person. I feel like you've got these amazing, bare, healthy boundaries allowing you to stand your ground. I think you're a lot further on along the, and on this healed healing path than you think. Yeah, there's some balance. This is all. So all the cent my center row, which I look at as messages from the divine, from your higher self. And I've got Archangel Michael, Gabriel, uh, which one's this? Raphael. You have, this is um, what's happening right now with the karma, with the switch. This is the universe. This is high vibrational energies. This is fate. Don't get in the way of someone else's karma. It's not going, it's going to hurt you and rob them of the opportunity to grow. I feel like that's been a theme in this. What, when I first opened this reading about stand your ground with the bear, you have healthy boundaries and it felt like you wanted to protect someone around you. I think right now is uh, the universe is saying, like show others how to do something, Your, the skills, the lessons you've learned, show people by your example. And then let them, allow them the opportunity to show themselves that they can do it. Otherwise, you are constantly going to insert yourself as someone's protector. And, the, and you'll perceive them as weak. And they'll even feel that you perceive them as weak. Does that make sense? Of course, if someone needs help in a situation and you, you know, are drawn in. I'm talking about chronic stepping in, like I know best, I know how to do that. You might, you might. However, you are robbing someone of the opportunity of, of making a next step. Maybe this is also going all on for this person. Maybe someone is in their environment is stepping in like you used to and shielding them from the brunt of their karma. Maybe that's for a few. It does feel like this karma is landing and it feels like it's um, blowing their mind because they really planned on you being where they are physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually bankrupt, quite possibly in trouble with the law. Yeah. All right, that's your reading. I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, appreciate each of you. And um, if this resonated with you, don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, um, consider subscribing, help me grow this channel. And um, yeah, looking forward to reading again tomorrow. See ya. Bye.